time to tackle a huge issue, how to wash up. Yeah, it might seem strange, but several of you, including loyal subscriber Roy Lake, thank you Roy, have been on at me to do a tutorial about how to do the washing up. Uh, fortunately, I don't have a dishwasher. I, I simply don't believe in them. So uh, otherwise this would have been a very short tutorial. Um, but what I can offer is real expertise. I actually once spent an entire summer as a kitchen porter at a golf club restaurant. So I'm almost overqualified for this tutorial this week. Um, so without any more ado, let's get on with it. Come on everybody, let's washing up. Before we get started, a bit of history. Uh, washing up is actually a fairly new thing in our lives, which is perhaps why so many people have asked me to tutorialise it. Back when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, there was a real stigma attached to washing up, and uh, a lot of people just tried to avoid it at all costs. Um, plenty of people just use paper plates and then eat their dinner with plastic cutlery and then at the end just chuck everything in the bin and think that was the end of it. You know, that was really the start of the massive plastic problem that we've got today. There were some people that would just make big pots of food and um, what they'd do is sit round with one big wooden spoon and the family would take it in turns to eat mouthfuls of the hot pot or whatever it was they cooked. Um, and then they would wash up those two items at the end. Um, but they were sort of known as, <clears throat> you know, real tree-hugging eco-warriors. Uh, fortunately, today, of course, we do like to reuse all our implements and plates and cooking utensils and things. Um, we're in a much better place, aren't we, now in 2020? Uh, so, let's get on with it. Okay, let's talk equipment. Now, first things first, I like to wear these marigold gloves, yellow ones if possible. I like to wear large size to fit my massive hands. Um, these are vital for two reasons really. First reason is I like to use very hot water when I'm washing up. So these gloves will uh, ha save my hands really from getting a, quite a nasty scalding if I don't wear them. And second of all, they protect my skin and keep my hands feeling soft and silky. Second of all, We've got the uh, washing up liquid. Now this is key. I recommend Ecova washing up liquid. Been using this for a while. It's very good, doesn't contain nasty chemicals. Um, other washing up liquids will uh, drain away into our rivers and lakes and um, kill our beautiful fish life. You know, roach and perch and that kind of thing. Well, not so much perch, they've got really spiky fins and if you touch them, you get quite a nasty, so I'm not bothered about them, but the roach. It's nasty. So yeah, Ecova. They're not paying me for this. This is just what I'm recommending. Okay, they're not. You know, they've got no idea I'm doing this. Um, and thirdly, the thing to actually do the cleaning. Now, I recommend these, made by Marigold, for a brighter clean. They're called Cleaning Me Softly After the Fuji Soap. Um, and what's great about these little green sponges is that they're nice and soft on one side. Yeah. Mm. And on the other side, they're a bit more abrasive. Ah! But not too abrasive. These won't scratch up those expensive saucepans that you've probably got at home. But they do get rid of those really hard to, hard to move dirt and bits of grime and bits of food. So this is my real recommendation for the thing to use when doing the washing up. Now, there are two schools of thought when it comes to doing the washing up. The first one is to get a big old plastic uh, bowl, fill it up with hot water and put your soap in, get it all really sudsy, chuck in all your dirty stuff and then start washing up from there. I don't really like that method and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's alright at first but then very quickly that water gets very murky, it gets very dirty, you get bits of food floating around and it just gets disgusting, it's like some kind of food swamp. Um, so I don't like doing that. So I'm going to show you my method, which I think is a lot better and a lot more hygienic. First of all, you take your sponge, make sure the water is nice and hot. There you go. Then take your Ecova and just put a bit on like that. Make it nice and sudsy. You can see lovely and sudsy. And then simply start washing up. Let me give the glass a bit of a rinse first, then Make sure you do inside and outside of whatever you're washing up. 
Okay, so then you've got a nice clean glass. Now a lot of people at this point are just gonna put that down on the, on the board like that. Let me put it this side where you can see it. Put it on the board like that and just leave it covered in soap. It's a terrible idea. I can't emphasize this enough. Always rinse after you've washed. Here we go, look. There we go. Perfect. Keep it always rinsed, it's really important, but make sure you turn the tap off while you're actually doing the cleaning. Water is a, is a precious resource, we have to look after it. So, that's all the washing up done. You can see it there, nice and clean, just drying away. That's the best thing, just let that drain off and a little bit later when they're completely dry, you can start putting them away. Now, that's all fine. That was all breakfast things. Breakfast is the easiest meal to wash up for. Little tip, if you're gonna to volunteer to do washing up for one meal a day, make it breakfast. Um, but it's not, things are not always so easy. Sometimes you're gonna have a, a meal like we did last night, which was uh, delicious homemade enchiladas. And then you're gonna get a baking dish that has got some really stubborn stains on it that have been baked in in the oven. When something like this happens, and I cannot emphasize this enough, soak. Here. Here's the bowl from last night. I've left that soaking all night, so uh, as Harry Hill once said, forgive me if I'm feeling a bit smug. I'm gonna pour this away now. Now last night, if I'd have tried to get rid of these stains last night, it would have been an absolute nightmare. Now, given the night with the hot water to slowly lift off the worst of it, you're gonna find that this is a very easy wash indeed. Let's have a look. Yeah. Just comes off so easily. Look, look, this is just seconds. It's not quite finished, but let me just show you this. That's just with one wipe. A few little bits in there, which I can clear up. That is a real professional's tip for washing up. Well, to Roy Lake and everyone else who's been asking me to do a tutorial on how to wash up. I hope that's helped. Let's just do a quick recap, just in case. Number one, get yourself a pair of yellow marigold gloves and make sure they're of a suitable size to fit your hands, big or small. Number two, try using Ecova washing up liquid. It's better for the environment. This is not a paid endorsement. Number three, get yourself a sponge. I like the Cleaning Me Softly Marigold Green Sponge with the soft side and the abrasive side that isn't too abrasive. Number four, suds up your sponge with hot water and your Ecova liquid and then start washing. Number five, and I can't emphasize this enough, make sure you rinse afterwards, but don't leave the tap running. Rinsing is really important unless you like having a soapy residue every time you drink from a glass or eat from a plate. And finally, number six, anything that has a really difficult stain on it, leave it to soak. You'll save yourself so much work. Bye. If you find an aspect of modern life baffling or tricky, and would like me to provide a tutorial for you, feel free to use the comments section below. Thank you.